Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to add a pulse meter into Metasys. Uh, this meter is a just for measuring the volume of uh, water that we consume. And one of the things that we're going to do is not only add the meter itself, we are also going to be converting the meter output pulse, which is in gallons per minute, or in gallons, we're going to be converting that to cubic foot. That is the way that the billing comes uh, for this particular utility. And the meter itself was unavailable in the size that we needed with a cubic foot pulse output. However, we can still use that output and just with a simple conversion can have the profile set up within Metasys that will monitor the output and the usage through that meter in the cubic foot uh, you know, value and that way we can compare that with the billing. Okay we have made our connections to the meter itself and connected them to the binary input on the controller and now what we've got to do is modify our programming. Here we have the program open in CCT what we will do here is to right click the input section and we're going to go to new and this is where we will create the meter point and we can go and type in MTR here and you can see that it's pulse miscellaneous metered and this is exactly what we need so we will then highlight this here press our up arrow to indicate how many we want press next and it will add that meter to the system. Now we can double click in here and we can change the object identifier. Hitting the edit button, typing in our new name. In this case, we're just gonna go domestic water pulse, something simple, something easy to remember. And hit the apply button and we are going to press close. The next step is we need to connect this to the hardware input itself. So we're going to go over to the define hardware. We are going to go over to point assignments at the top here and you can see the point that we just added right here. And we have an open slot on our controller which we can see here and that's what we're going to add this to. So the way that we will do that is very simple. You know it's these are you just highlight that, press the right arrow button and it will automatically place that in the next available slot. Uh, you could move this around if necessary but for this particular controller, this particular input, that is where it needs to be. And once we do that we press close, we save the program and then load it into our controller. Once we have the program in our controller the next step is to pull it into Metasys and begin building our logic. We will highlight the particular controller where the point is added and we can simply go up to the uh, insert point at the top of our screen and this being BACnet, is, uh, e it's easy to discover the points. We can simply go insert field point and using the insert, the auto discovery feature which we're going to hit the restart scan here. You can see that this is scanning and once it scans we will then close that window and you can see the miscellaneous metered point here. And we will double click that to put a check mark by it and once we do that we hit the next button and here is our point. We hit finish. We can add a trend which we are going to do uh, just a simple change of value trend and we now have added that a pulse meter point to the system. Uh, we're going to change the name here. This is uh, something, put it something that's a little more identifiable. We did change it in the program as you saw, but this particular program, this controller was already loaded with the program. I just did that as a demonstration. And now that we have the name changed on the system, we can work on beginning uh, to build our logic. I'm just going to do a refresh all here so you can see the changes and uh, it'll be a little less confusing now you can see it there labeled as domestic water pulse. So from that we're going to take the uh, build the logic for the meter itself to do its calculation. We're going to highlight the folder where we're going to put that. We're going to go to insert object and then we are going to select 
pulse meter as our object. Okay, the what we built in the controller and what we have pulled into the system in Emeticis is the accumulator. With each pulse, that accumulator will increase value. This pulse meter is what's going to do the calculation for us. So we will type this, uh, you know, type the name in for this that is related to that meter, and you can see here the red block. This is something, this is the meter object or the accumulator itself that we have to locate. So we click the gray box, drill down through our system, and then we need to find that accumulator, that hardware input on that controller that we just added. So I drop that down, I drill down into my system, I drill down into the network, and here is that accumulator that we created. We highlight that, and we press the OK button. That ties that pulse meter to this. Now, what we're going to need to do is, we've got to pay close attention to, is the uh, value, the, uh, uh, the multiplier that we have to add here. I'm going to go ahead and change this to cubic foot since that's what we want the output of this to be. Now then, you can see that the current multiplier that is in the system is set for a value of 1. Uh, that is not what we need that to be. We will actually be changing that, and we need to be able to convert that where 100 gallon flow, which would equal one click on that meter, would equal to whatever cubic foot of water flow. You know, that's, that's how we need this meter's output to be, and that's how we need to be able to log that within our system. And, you know, that's just a simple way of saving yourself a little bit of time later. And what we're going to do for that is go to Google. And you can see here we have a simple conversion calculator and pulled up here in Google. And 100 gallons is going to be 13.3 cubic foot. So we're going to highlight this whole value and we're going to copy that. And we're going to go back into Metasys. And once we go back into Metasys, this is what we're going to add as our value. You know, Google's a very powerful tool. You can use it to find the particular conversion values that you need for doing this. Uh, you know, save yourself the calculations later. All right, and then that is what we're going to put in right here. I'm simply going to highlight this, press Control V, and insert that value, and that is going to be our multiplier. And I press the Next button. And when the uh, meter is created, uh, the outputs, you know, one pulse per, per meter on that meter is 100 gallons. And then using that conversion, it will indicate that it's 13.3 cubic foot. And we can add a trend or anything like that if, that we want to here if we wanted. Uh, but it's just up to you whether you want to add a trend on this or whatever you would like to do. Now that we have the pulse meter itself added, the next step is to going to be adding a data logger. We're going to go to insert an object and select DDLR. This is what's going to record the meter readings on that pulse meter that we created. Once again, typing in a name that will indicate exactly what this is serving. We're going to call this domestic water profile. And from this, from what this collects, we will be able to compare to the bill, as you will see shortly. In the configuration window, I open this gray box here, and I have to find the meter object that we just created. Not the accumulator on the controller itself, but that meter object that we just created where we put that value in. Once we have that tied in there, uh, you can change your units here. You can see that they are default for KW. Uh, it's, you know, these can be used for a wide range of data logging. Uh, you know, flows, just various different things. We're going to change these to the cubic foot, uh, you know, since that's what we want the, uh, the profile to read. We want to be able to compare this profile to the utility bill. And in that, we will be able to see exactly, uh, you know, how, how we are doing on energy conservation. We can also determine uh, which buildings are using uh, more flow than others, more water than others. And we, in following these and logging this data, 
uh, you know, over a period of time can give us an indication of a problem. You know, if the, the usage goes up for whatever reason, uh, that could be an indication of a leak somewhere. And here we are with our fresh out of the box profile. It will take this a period of running before it is able to start populating data. Now this is not the first one of these that we have already done, so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when you get some values into the profile. Uh, you know, this is something that is very handy, and again, it is something that can give you an indication of a problem in your building. If for whatever reason your usage is just astronomical for one month, and you know that goes against the trend, then you know you have a problem. And here is a profile that we have already set up previously in another building. You can see that we have consumption on this. And eventually, as this one runs, we will begin seeing data there as well. Guys, if uh, you have to convert any type of a utility, like what we've done here, you do want to make sure that it is accurate as possible. Uh, and it's a simple way to you know find the conversion. This was very simple. The uh, particular meter again was 100 gallons per click and using the just using Google we were able to get what that translates into a cubic foot. So it's quite easy and then we use that as our uh, you know our multiplier within the pulse meter output. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope it's useful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And thanks for watching.